Okay, so now we're about to leave for our biggest sail so far. It can take six to seven days. So therefore, I did a calendar. So each day we can pick one away and it will get closer to the goal. Bahamas! A new day. Another day has passed. Oh, five days to go. So excited. So wind speed. Thirty two. consistently so our jib just broke which sucks and uh, we can't take it down because it's too windy so we have the, oh, the staysail up so, uh, at least it's less rolling now so but I mean still rolling <laughs> now we're doing maybe five knots but we were doing like eight nine ten knots so that might push us back. So we don't have the same speed anymore. So this have to stay. Back to five days left. Whoa. So this is day four, which means we've been sailing for four days. And um, the wind is, it's lighter, it's like 18, 19 right now. Uh, we're s we have full sails, the winds, the, um, the swell is a lot smaller, so that's awesome. Uh, the wind waves are still there, and that's the ones that kind of slow down the boat, but at least it's kind of the up and down from the swell that makes you nauseous. So it's nice to, that we don't have that right now. I've been in your waters Been looking at your door I know one thing for sure I've never been so close before
it's the jib. After four hours of stitching, it's up. Feel the speed at the edge of the water. As long as I can remember. Happiness? Happiness is coming. Welcome to day five. We're desperate for food. Since we put up the jib yesterday, it's just been blowing consistently 20 knots. The sea is flat and we're just doing perfect sailing and it's awesome. awesome. Sailing between Cuba and Jamaica, we can almost see Jamaica, but not really. Awesome. This is how hair looks after five days at the sea. And uh, yesterday we fixed the jib, but we had to add another day because we went so slow. But we can take that away now, because we go so fast. The ocean and the wind is so beautiful to us. And we can take away this one too! Oh, no, no, no. And uh, I talked to the captains. And I think we can take away the number four. We've been out f five days. So yeah, eight as I thought from the beginning. Okay, so three days left. Do you like sailing? No! <laughs> hey Clem, you're sleeping at my clothes. Do you have anything to say? Not allowed here. 
in Cuba with an American boat and a coast guard with a big machine gun on their front just came up on us. <laughs> Can't steal prisoners. Where is, where's the popcorn? Clem. Clem, did you eat the popcorn? No, you did not. They have a weapon on the front! Bam, bam, bam! Oh, they have a machine gun on the front! So Guantanamo is right there and we went right here and the Coast Guard is right there. Days a week. Hmm? We're eating like one proper meal per day and a little bit of noodles and a lot of chocolate. And now everything is gone. Whee! Now we're between Cuba and Jamaica still. Tagging, 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 tagging. Ta yeah, this is where I sleep. Pillows to support, very important. just ended our shift it's 4 a.m. Um, we do three hour shift so I'm gonna go and sleep for like two and a half hours and that's kind of how it's been now for like this is the ninth night kind of Kind of getting used to it. Battery. No battery. So here I am, just sitting on a sailboat, talking to a camera. Weirdo. Battery, battery, battery. We're now doing a last tack in order to get past Cuba. This is like the tenth tack or something. So it's exciting. And then it's just just like 70 miles to to Bahamas, to the first island. And um, and 70 miles. Just like. Seven knots, ten hours. So maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe tomorrow at sunset we'll we'll arrive, which is about time. 
Are you done sailing now? So nine days have passed uh, and we're just sailing perfectly our last 50 miles up to to the island, to Bahamas which we are very very ready for we're taking down the sail because Bahamas is right there